Today we'll check out the brand new F15E Strike Eagle metal throttle grip from WinWing together with the Orion 2 base. We'll also take a look at the finger lift system. I'll go over the assembly, functionality and materials together with you. There are lots of things I liked and a few I didn't. I explain while we go and give my personal impressions at the end. But now let's dive right in. Like every review, this one begins with a package being delivered. <laughs> Holy shit, doorbell. A lot of them arrived this morning, but only two are relevant today. Let's check out what's in the first box. We've got a USB cable with an angled connector, suction cups and some tools, and most importantly, the Orion 2 throttle unit itself. The body consists of plastic composite, the metal components, like the grip connectors, are made of cast aluminum. The toggle switches are made of metal as well, while the rotary caps and buttons use high quality plastic. Out of the next box emerged the two parts our F15E grip consists of. Both use a full aluminum alloy construction, the hats, thumbstick and rotary are made of plastic. Let's put everything together. First of all, we add the detent bracket which prevents us from accidentally turning off our engine in flight. The little idle detent itself has to be removed before the bracket can be secured in place. Then we attach the first throttle connector, including a finger lift. Also just two screws, that's it. Same goes for the other side and we're set. Now comes the smaller part of the grip. We attach the cable and then secure it in place. Then we screw the smaller grip onto the connector. Same procedure on the other side, plug in the cable, secure it, attach the right side of the grip. Linking both grips together works best if you move them into idle position. The throttle movement is smooth and precise, nothing to complain here. Tension can be adjusted independently for both axes while the grip is installed. Alright, let's first go over the base unit. The moment you plug it in, a green backlight comes to life. It can be regulated via the WinWing software. In total you get 4 dual stage switches, 4 3 stage switches, 1 pressable 3 stage switch, 3 red buttons, 2 programmable AA AG buttons, 4 pressable encoders and 2 hall sensor thumb wheels. WinWing's website says that's more buttons, switches and rotaries in total than any other throttle base offers at the moment, which is correct as far as I can tell. The high resolution thumb wheels feel really good, couldn't travel any smoother and their shape makes them easy to find even in VR where you can't see them. The buttons feel very sturdy as well, still they are very nice to operate and not too hard to push. Sometimes manufacturers just use stiff springs to simulate quality. That's not the case here as far as I can tell. The switches feel snappy with good haptic feedback. The same goes for the encoders. So that's what I can say about the base so far. It's a nice piece of equipment. I'll comment on it some more in the last section of the video, so stay with me. But now let's check out the F15E grip. Its black metal finish has a slightly rough surface, which is quite resistant to scratches and fingerprints, which I can confirm, but more on that later. Let's see what's on the grip. You get two five-way switches, one clickable mini stick, one hold sensor thumb wheel, five three-way switches, three of them spring-loaded, and two buttons. Here's how the switches sound and feel. They feel really good as you might have heard from the sound they make. The same applies to the other controls like the hats on front, both the left and right one and also the mini stick which has a nice responsive and elastic feel. Buttons are snappy too. Inside the grip are two dynamic vibration motors, WinWing calls Twin Shock, with presets for DCS modules. These are the same motors their F16EX grip also includes. 
They give vibration feedback on landing and in other situations, like if you're about to stall for example. Support for other games besides DCS is currently in the works, as Winwing told me. I didn't expect much, but found it to be quite a nice addition once I tried it out. The finger lift works flawlessly too, but there's a slight issue with them from an ergonomic point of view. This brings me to the things I didn't like or what I think could be improved. If you look at the levers from below, you notice that there's just the stabilizing structure of the plastic, which isn't really nice to touch and operate. So what I'd be happy to see in the next revision would be an improved design of the levers. Then there's some slight wiggle room if you lock both sides of the grip together. Maybe Winwing can come up with a better locking solution for the next version of the grip. That's about all I can complain about on the hardware side of things. Well, maybe RGB lighting for the base would be nice, so I could switch to red while flying the Mirage. But that's a non-issue in the end, at least for me, so let's continue. Here's my verdict about the grip and the base. The Winwing F15E Strike Eagle grip is absolutely recommendable. Its form and functions resemble the real grip of the classic jet. The metal construction and finish is top-notch, Winwing describes it as high temperature electrostatic spraying. This allows for a realistic texture and high scratch resistance, which I can confirm. I tested the claim on accident by slipping with my screwdriver. No scratch at all. Another claim is that they use new buttons and switches from quote industry leading manufacturers, which improves tactile feedback and increases the lifespan. I can test the lifespan, but I can absolutely confirm the fantastic tactile feel of the grip's controls. Especially the switches are 100% snappy and precise, with zero tilt to either side. The Orion 2 is an excellent throttle base that's able to compete with the best out there. Its low profile allows it to function as well on a desk as within a sim cockpit. The switches, buttons and dials are well made, nothing to complain here. Compared to Whirlpool's CM3 base, it offers fewer simple, dedicated, programmable buttons, but more of anything else, like dials, switches, encoders and total button count. Also bear in mind that the Orion 2 throttle base tries to replicate the real thing as close as possible, while the CM3 is designed to be a jack of all trades. The plastic body is quite robust and of high quality. I'm a fan of the combination of a metal grip with a plastic base. Keeps the weight down and takes nothing from the experience, because your left hand usually rests on the all metal grip, which has the aforementioned nice feel and texture. The grip itself, what is there to say? It's a high quality replica of the original F15E grip. So if you're especially into flying the F15 or maybe the A10, this might be the perfect grip for you. Of course, it's perfectly fine for other jets too, and even space sims, because of the thumbstick you might use for lateral thrust. Everything I can assess and judge from the outside is great from a quality perspective. The thumb wheel also features a wear-free hall sensor, and you're able to switch its axis from absolute to relative. The review of its extended version, the F15EX grip, will appear right here once it's finished. Thumbs down if you'd rather enlist as a drop tank than have to watch this video again. Drop me a like though if you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by, fly safe and see you soon.